Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, Stan the Movie Man with your WIMZ.com movie review. This week at WIMZ.com, you voted for me to go see the Academy Award-nominated Amour. It stars Jean-Louis Tretignan, also Emmanuel Riva, and Isabelle Hébert. It is the story of an elderly couple named George and Anne, played by Tretignan and Riva. Um, they are living a quiet, peaceful life in their uh, Paris home, um, and they're, you know, into just going about their lives, doing the things they want to do. Uh, apparently, Anne was a piano teacher uh, in her younger days, and they go to see a concert featuring one of her uh, former students named Alexander. Um, and he's become a major star, apparently, in the classical music uh, genre. But, after the next morning after that concert, they're having breakfast, and Anne just sort of shuts down. She stares straight ahead, she doesn't move, she doesn't react. George freaks out a little bit, and she finally just snaps out of it and is herself again. They take Anne to the doctor. And apparently she has a blockage in one of her um, arteries in her neck that takes blood to her brain. They perform an operation on her, and fortunately it's unsuccessful, and she suffers a stroke. The film is about how George and Anne deal with her declining health, um, and uh, how their daughter, Eva, played by Isabelle Aper, um doesn't handle it very well. Um... This film is nominated for five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Actress for Emmanuel Riva, um, also Best Foreign Film, and Best Director. I can't right offhand remember the fifth one. Um, and there's no doubt that it is art. What I can't say it is, is entertaining. Um, and I didn't expect to come out of the movie singing, whistling a happy tune. Um, knowing that the, uh, the subject matter being what it was. Um, I did, however, expect to have a more emotional reaction to the movie. I expected, quite frankly, to be in tears by the end of it. Uh, this elderly couple is dealing with declining health, even though they still care very much for each other, and the toll that love and care takes on uh, the non-ill member of the couple. Um, I've gone through something similar to that with my parents, as uh, they uh, had sort of long-term illnesses, um, and father had uh, Alzheimer's disease and mom had cancer. And you watched their health decline over time, and you were absolutely helpless to do anything about it. All you could do was offer whatever support you could. Um, and that's kind of the situation that George is in. Um, but I, I expected the film to just rip my heart out and stomp it on the floor. It doesn't. And I think it doesn't do that because it is so realistic in its portrayal of a caregiver. Um, caregiving for someone who is chronically ill and in declining health is something that is dull, mundane, yet heartbreaking and that is portrayed on the screen very realistically in Amour. Um, later in the film, something happens that I won't discuss, but it, um, it uh, was a bit of a surprise, but at the same time, I did not have the kind of emotional reaction I would have expected. If this is a Hollywood movie, they would have had a soaring soundtrack. Uh, they would have done things to manipulate the audience into having this, having a crying jag two or three times in the film. Um, you know, there would have been a court battle between the daughter and the father over the care of the mother, and then by the time the court battle was settled, the mother would have died, um, and you know that kind of thing. But it's, it is a really very realistic portrayal of caregiving. It is not a lot of fun to watch, even though it is, I believe, a very high quality film. 
It is a French film in French with English subtitles. It, um, it, but it, it is not something that I really can recommend anybody go see because it is really quite the downer. Um, now, if that's the kind of film you like, hit it. It's, it. That'll be just for you. But for most people, considering what I usually get sent to, uh, it's not. And that's why I'm giving it to guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie that I see next time. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. Till next time, later!